Welcome to List of 13. I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. We make lists on various topics, find 13 awesome facts, and present them to you. If you have trisodectophobia, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. We're doing a series about one of my favorite shows. So without further ado, live from New York. Excuse me. Um, we're not live and we're in Missouri. Oh, right. Got a little bit excited there. Either way, this video is part of the series about Saturday Night Live cast members. By the way, it's one of my favorite shows too. So, enjoy the list. Horatio Sands, born June 4th, 1969, is a Chilean-born American actor and comedian best known as a cast member on Saturday Night Live from 1998 to 2006. Today we bring you 13 facts about Horatio Sands you probably didn't know. Number one, Sands has lent his voice to characters in animated films and TV shows such as Wreck-It Ralph and Big Hero 6, the series. Both a fun movie and fun show there. Number two, Sands was born in Santiago, Chile, but grew up in the Humboldt Park neighborhood of Chicago. He was the youngest of three boys. Number three, Sands is an active presence on social media where he shares comedic content and interacts with his fans. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it's always a plus when they're interactive. Number four, before his time on Saturday Night Live, Sands honed his comedic skills in the vibrant improv scene in Chicago. He performed at the Second City and I.O. Theater. Another SNL cast member from from Second City. We've talked about lots of those. We sure have. Number five, Sands was accused by an anonymous woman and former SNL fan who only identified herself as Jane Doe of grooming her for sexual abuse, along with inappropriate touching and groping. The firm representing Doe announced that the parties have resolved their dispute. Not trying to sound in any way jaded or anything like that, but it really seemed to me like there may have been some money that this person wanted. And seriously, just use your name, Jane Doe. Although I don't condone, it's good that it's been resolved. Yes. Number six, Sands participated in the Improv Olympics in Chicago and emerged as a champion. Improv Olympics, huh? That's fine. Sounds like a good time. We want to thank you again and tell you how much it means for you to watch this video. We would really appreciate it if you would do some things to help our channel grow and reach more people. We would be so grateful for you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share this video with your friends. As a result, YouTube will share our video with more people. Number seven, in addition to his comedic performances, Sands is also a writer. I've read some different stuff of his before and it was pretty good. He writes books or does he write shows? Well, what I read was actually articles on the internet. I see. Number eight, Sands has participated in numerous charity events over the years. That's always nice when celebrities are involved with charity work. Very true. Number nine, Sands has had the opportunity to work alongside stars such as Will Ferrell, Jimmy Fallon, and Tina Fey. These collaborations have resulted in some truly funny and memorable comedic moments. Not really something most people didn't know that are watching this video, I'm sure, but there were some pretty awesome scenes that happened between those people. Number 10, Horatio's background in improv has great influenced his comedic style. He is known for his quick wit and ability to think on his feet. Those are definitely key skills of improv. Or any kind of comedy, really. Number 11. Sands has ventured into the world of podcasting, hosting the popular show, The Hooray Show, as in hip hip hooray. Yes, it definitely seems like a very fun place to be. I see the pun there too. Horatio, The Hooray Show. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Number 12. Sands is known for his improvised music performances. He plays various instruments and incorporates music into his live shows. Well, that's fun. Everybody loves the music. I've seen him do that before on YouTube and definitely not videos that I only watched once. And number 13, Sands has been an advocate for diversity in the comedy industry. He uses his platform to support and uplift underrepresented voices and believes in the power of comedy to bring people together and break down barriers. Definitely a very important thing to do. We don't want to be around just watching a bunch of old white guys. Right. Like myself. We hope you enjoyed this list of facts about Horatio Sands you probably didn't know. Tell us in the comment which fact was the most surprising or if you yourself have a favorite Horatio Sands skit. Thanks again for watching. If you have an idea for a new video, tell us in the comments. We'll mention you if we do it. We hope you have an awesome day. And please be, be kind, kind to, to each, each other. other.